we got an upcoming debate between Trump and Kamala Harris. All right. And in that debate, in that debate, a lot of people is saying that she called them out first, but now she want to change the rules to be different than what it is that he agreed to when he had first debated Biden. Now, I remember at a time where it was a lot of people that were saying, well, you know, um, you know, Trump don't want to agree to the rules to be muted and censored or whatever. And then Trump said, OK, well, cool. I'll take every single rule that y'all want and we'll do it on CNN, which is traditionally a slanted platform towards liberals they try to act like they play middle of the road but it is absolutely a slanted platform towards liberals and we all know this right but he agreed he agreed like they're doing right now to go in hostile enemy territory and he absolutely watched joe biden and there was no way that they can deny it and they had to concede so much so that now they've given his replacement kamala harris and so right now they can't agree on they can't agree on what is the rules for the debate going forward? Take a look. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. Uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Let's rock. This morning, the Trump and Harris campaigns are sparring over next month's debate. With a 70-day sprint to election day, both candidates looking ahead to their first meeting. With Harris holding at least one mock debate, sources say. While Trump turned to social media to complain about the debate host network and on Monday blasting a proposed rule change that would leave both candidates' microphones on throughout. That's compared to the Trump-Biden debate in June when microphones were muted unless it was their turn to speak. Will the former president still attend? We're thinking about it. They also want to change the rules. You know, the deal was we keep the same rules. Now all of a sudden they want to make a change in the rules because she can't answer questions. Trump later seeming to say the Harris proposed change wouldn't be a deal breaker. It doesn't matter to me. I'd rather have it probably un Trump campaigning in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania this week. Harris and her running mate Tim Walls holding a bus tour of Georgia that begins tomorrow. Thank you. Trump looking to get back on offense will target Harris on key issues this week, including immigration. With breaking news on that front overnight, a federal... Why would they want to change the rules? That's, that's what my question is. Why, why would they want to change the rules for something that they agreed to when they set the standard for in the previous debate? Now, we know that they're going to posture, they're going to pivot, they're going to act like, oh, no, you know, let's just have it. Why would they want to change the rules? She said that she wanted to smoke. Okay, come and get the smoke. And let's keep the same standard. I thought the debate actually went pretty well. I thought that the rules was pretty awesome. Across the board, I think that the rules was, was awesome. I think that it was a great debate. I think that the rules was awesome. I think that the fact that they allowed for each other to be able to respond and then muted the mics, it made it easier for us to hear things and for us to get to every single subject that they had that was on the docket that ultimately they proposed to the candidates and we've seen the contrast and comparison of the two so i don't know why they would change the if it worked last time why wouldn't why shouldn't it work this time judge temporarily blocking a biden administration program that allowed undocumented spouses of american citizens to stay in the u.s while applying for green cards the program, one of many immigration flashpoints, had been challenged by Republicans in 16 states. The Trump campaign sees immigration as a vulnerability for Harris, along with national security. Under Kamala Harris, American veterans are treated worse by far than illegal aliens. Illegal aliens are treated. You ever see them? They stay in hotels. We have veterans sleeping on the street. The former president, using the three-year anniversary of the bombing of Abbey Gate in Afghanistan, which killed 13 service members, to highlight the Biden administration's chaotic withdrawal from the nation's longest war. Our country will never be safe again until we have fired those responsible for this disaster. Nobody fired. Worst, most embarrassing, in my opinion, the most embarrassing day in the history of our country. Now, both President Biden and Vice President Harris marked that anniversary with statements. The vice president writing of the fallen, quote, my prayers are with their families and loved ones. My heart breaks for their pain and loss. Chanel. Garrett, back to the debate. What is Vice President Harris's strategy in wanting to keep the mics on? 
Yeah, look, it's really twofold. Harris wants to be able to do something Joe Biden wasn't able to do in the first debate, and that's fact check Donald Trump in real time. Keeping her mic open means she doesn't get steamrolled. But her campaign also wants Trump's mic open, in part because they want the American people to see what they're calling the unfettered Donald Trump, which is basically what they'd get if he gets reelected. Essentially, they don't think Trump can control himself for 90 minutes. They want millions of viewers to see that now. Cap. Cap, cap, cap. She just want to, she want to continue to over talk. And like you said, say, I'm talking, I'm talking, but Trump specifically addressed it. And so we're going to go into that. And I want y'all to hear his response to whether or not uh, he want to keep the same rules or he want to switch the rules up. We got to have a president. We got to have a real president that's respected. So as to your question, I think it's disgraceful. And I think ABC is a disgrace. I think having Donna Brazil sitting on that panel, and she's the one that gave the answers and the questions to Hillary Clinton before a debate. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think ABC is really should be shut out. Uh, I'd much rather do it on NBC. I'd much rather do it on CBS, frankly. I think CBS is very unfair, but the best of the group. And certainly I'd do it on Fox. I'd even do it on CNN. I thought CNN treated us very fairly the last time. I think Jake Tapper was very fair and Dana Bash was very fair. But when I watch this interview of Tom Cott, unfortunately he's a total pro, he knows what he's doing. And then when I watch the round table after that, I said the hostility is crazy. So uh, we're thinking about it, we're thinking about it. They also want to change the rules. You know the deal was we keep the same rules, now all of a sudden they want to make a change in the rules because she can't answer questions. Why doesn't she do a couple of uh, question and why does she do something like I'm doing right now? She can't talk. We can't have another dummy as a president, okay? We cannot have a call it what it is. Stand your stand your ground, big dog. Call it out and address it for what it is. We can't have another dummy as a president. Let's just be real. I love this guy. Forget all of that posturing and trying to say it a certain way and all of this stuff. He just said it straight up. We can't have another dummy as a president because we don't even know who run in the White House right now. We don't even have a clue on who's making decisions in the White House right now. Is it Obama? Is it Kamala Harris? Is it somebody that we not aware of? Is it some emissary from some other country? I don't know. Who's running the White We don't need another dummy in the White House. Let's just keep it real. I like this guy. I like this guy. Dummy. And the people from Vietnam agree with that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Trump, would, would you want the microphone muted in the debate whenever you're not speaking? We agree to the same rules. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I'd rather have it probably on. But the agreement was that it would be the same as it was last time. In that case, it was muted. Uh, I didn't like it the last time, but it worked out fine. I mean, ask Biden how it worked out. It was fine. <laughs> and I think it should be the same. We agreed to the same rules. Same rules and same specifications. And I think that's probably what it should be. But they're trying to change it. The truth is they're trying to get out of it because she doesn't want to debate. She's not a good debater. She's not a smart person. She doesn't want to debate. But when I looked at the hostility during the weekend, you watch it. This week with George Slopidopoulos. And uh, the Vietnamese didn't get that one. <laughs> you got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you didn't get it, I couldn't. couldn't it. <laughs> but uh, no, we, we want to have fairness. We have to bring fairness back to the country. I don't see, I don't see what the big deal is. I think that and is absolutely is a logical explanation to say, listen, let's just keep it the way that it is and let's rock out. I don't even agree with the network that we have in it on. But let's just rock out and keep the same rules. I don't know why that's such a... a a groundbreaking thing to say that we just want to keep the same rules. And he was right. Why don't they take questions from people, regardless of whether they agree with them or not, or take questions from re reporters unscripted? Why don't they go into ops territory? Why don't they go on Fox News in order to answer questions from somebody that is not going to be on a side like Steve Harvey that openly said that he's not going to ask her any hard questions? I don't, I don't know why that's, that's such a big deal. Why is that? Why is that a deal breaker? Why can't anybody get in in front of these people in order to take some hard questions or to, in order to you know get to the deep 
deep diving of what it is that we really want to know as Americans. Because as of right now, with less than three months to go, we don't know. We don't really have answers to a lot of the things that we really are questioning. I don't know. That's just me in particular.